and welcome to part 111 of my report on the McCarrick Report by Patrick Parson. Now that we have finished going through the entire 449 pages of the McCarrick Report, I wish to give my thoughts in a few areas, and the first is the lack of interest by the report investigators to look into the gift-giving for which McCarrick was well known. In fact, the report tells us, quote, While McCarrick's fundraising and gift-giving are discussed below, the report does not provide an accounting of such activities, which took place over at least four decades. Overall, the report appears to show that although McCarrick's fundraising skills were weighed heavily, they were not determinative with respect to major decisions made relating to McCarrick, including his appointment to Washington in 2000. In addition, the examination did not reveal evidence that McCarrick's customary gift-giving and donations impacted significant decisions made by the Holy See regarding McCarrick during any period." Unquote. How can the compilers of the report seriously expect us, seriously expect sane adults to believe that? Gifts and donations had no impact on decisions made about McCarrick? If money is so insignificant, why are church leaders continually asking for more money from us? Something is not adding up here. According to a December 27, 2019 report by the Washington Post, printed almost one full year before the final McCarrick report was released, over 100 persons, including two popes, over 60 cardinals, and multiple archbishops and priests, received part of $600,000 in financial gifts from McCarrick. According to the Post article, quote, Several of the more than 100 recipients were directly involved in assessing misconduct claims against McCarrick. Documents and interviews show. Unquote. As I asked in the previous segment, how can any recipient of McCarrick's so called gifts not be tainted? or more accurately, contaminated, by McCarrick's generosity. The report says it did not find evidence that McCarrick's gifts impacted significant decisions made by the Holy See regarding McCarrick at any time. Well, just how many bishops or cardinals are going to say, hey, I got a lot of cash for my pal McCarrick, so of course I recommended him for a promotion. Or, who do you expect me to believe? Some young wet-nosed seminarian? Or my generous friend Theodore McCurrick, who gave me enough to make a down payment on my new Cadillac? The November 2010 McCurrick Report was re prepared by the Secretariat of State of the Holy See. Who is the Secretariat of State? Cardinal Pietro Perowin, who, according to one of the sources listed above, is said to have received $1,000 from McCarrick. I need to be careful here and make clear I am not making an allegation or accusation that the report findings are the result of bribery. I will say that to avoid possible sense of scandal, the Church would have done better to appoint someone to prepare the report 
who had no connections with funds or gifts from McCarrick. It appears the report is either not concerned about the appearance of propriety, or its producers have little respect for the thinking abilities of whoever may read the report. Money corrupts, and to suggest McCarrick's thousands of dollars of generous gifts to clergy had no impact on decisions made about him is unrealistic. Why isn't the report tracking the money? Who are the individuals who received money from McCarrick? How much did they receive? And what role did they play in McCarrick's continued protection and advancement? Or is that going to bring to light more than the current church hierarchy is willing to acknowledge? We will all be forced to acknowledge all of our deeds during the day of judgment. We can hide our deeds from each other for now, but ultimately all will be revealed. It would be best for each of us to admit them now. God knows the full truth. We are foolish to pretend otherwise. Let us start to ask for forgiveness through our Holy Mother's Fatima prayer. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy.